everyone, it's Maddie here. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can crochet this simple, easy little gummy bear. It only takes like 20 minutes to make and it's a beginner friendly pattern and also is no sew. Let's begin. Okay, to begin we're going to start by making a magic ring. And to do that you're going to take your tail end of the yarn and then you're going to wrap it around two fingers twice. And then your tail should be behind your two fingers. And then from there you're going to take your crochet hook and you're going to put it through the first two loops and then you're going to grab that last loop that you have on your fingers and you're just going to pull it through like this. And then you're going to pinch it as you pull it off your finger so you don't lose your little ring. And then from there, go ahead and chain two. So there's one and then two. And there's your magic ring. And in our magic ring, we're going to do six single crochets. And to do a single crochet, you're going to insert your hook through the magic ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, so you have two loops on your hook, then you're going to yarn over and pull through both loops. And that's going to be your first single crochet. Let's go ahead and do another one. So insert your hook through the loop, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then you're going to yarn over and pull through the two loops. There's our second one. So we'll do another one. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. So there's our third single crochet. I'm going to go ahead and do this till I have six single crochets in my magic ring. Here I have my six single crochets and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tighten this magic ring. Just by pulling on the tail you can tighten it. You will have to pull on that second loop just a little bit more just to tighten that first like little loop there. Once you've tightened it we're going to add a stitch marker to mark where our rounds start and begin because the rounds that we're going to be working with are just going to be continuous rounds and you won't be able to tell when you come to the end of the round so a marker helps really well. And I'm just using just a piece of a different color yarn. There are stitch markers that you can buy, but I've always just used a little strand of yarn and it's worked great for me. So what you're going to do is you're just going to place the stitch marker like this. It's going to be right next to the last stitch you just made and just kind of fold it so it stays as we work on the next round. In this next round, we're going to be working two single crochets in each stitch around and you should get a total of 12 stitches and these are going to be increases. So anytime we do a stitch that has two single crochets, that's going to be called an increase. And to do that, you're going to insert your hook through your stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. So then you have two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's a single crochet. We'll do one more single crochet in that stitch. And that is a increase since we put the two single crochets in that same stitch. So we'll do another increase in the next stitch. So we're going to do a single crochet and then another single crochet. Let's move to the next stitch. So we have a single crochet and then a second single crochet. Go ahead and finish this to the end of the round. And you'll know when you made it to the end of the round because you'll have your stitch marker here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that last stitch and do my increase. And now we are at the end of the round. From here you can go ahead and remove your stitch marker and we're going to place it on top of the new round that we're going to be working in. So the last round we did was the second round and this one will be the third round. So to do this one, we're going to do three single crochets in the next three stitches. So just one single crochet in the stitch. So I just did two and then we have the third. And now we're going to do a bobble stitch. To do that, you're going to yarn over and sew your hook through your next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. So then you'll have three, yarn over, pull through two. And you're going to do that again till we have five loops on our hook. So as you see, we have two, so we'll do it again. Yarn over and sew your hook through the same stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. So now we have three. Let's go ahead and do some more. Now we have four. So we'll do one more. Yarn over, pull through the two. So now that we have the five loops on our hook, we're just going to yarn over and pull through all five. And that's going to be your bobble stitch. In this next stitch, we'll do an increase. So you're going to insert your hook and do a single crochet and then do one more single crochet in that stitch. And there's your increase. And I'm just going to kind of fold this bobble stitch upward like this, just so it's in the right direction. Let's do another increase. There's one and two and one more increase. 
with the two single crochets in the stitch. Now we're going to do another bobble stitch. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook through the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Let's do it again. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Let's do it again. Yarn over, insert your hook through, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Let's do one more. So we have the five loops on our hook and then we're going to yarn over and pull through all five. In the next four stitches we're just going to do single crochets in each one. So there's a single crochet. Okay and made it to the end of the round and again I'm just going to fold that bobble stitch up so it's pointed in the right direction. And these are actually going to be our ears. So again go ahead and remove your stitch marker and place it on top of the new row. And for round four, we're just going to be doing single crochets in each stitch all the way around. You should have a total of 15 stitches when you make it to the end of that round. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll do a single crochet just in each stitch all the way around. And when you get to that bobble stitch, you should see the two loops and that is going to be your stitch that you're going to do your single crochet in. Go ahead and continue this all the way around to finish off that round. Okay, I've made it to the end of the round and I just have one more stitch to do my last single crochet in. So again, you're gonna remove your stitch marker and place it at the beginning of your next round. For round five, we're gonna start by doing seven single crochets in the next seven stitches. So one, two, and seven. We're gonna do another bobble stitch in this next stitch. So we're gonna yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Do it again, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Again, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. I'm gonna do one more till you have the five loops on your hook. And then you're just gonna yarn over and pull through all five. And then we're going to be doing seven single crochets in the next seven stitches, and that will be the end of round five. Like that, I made it to the end of round five. And again, I'm just gonna take that bobble stitch and just push it outward. And here's the start of our bear. Go ahead and take your stitch marker out, place it at the beginning of our next round. For round six, we're gonna be doing single crochets and some decreases. So to do that, you're just gonna do a single crochet in the first stitch, and then we're going to do a decrease. And to do that, you're going to insert your hook through the front loop of the next stitch, and then in that next stitch, you're gonna go into that back loop. So you're going to, into the two stitches, as you can see, and then you're just gonna yarn over, pull up a loop, and do your single crochet. And this is a decrease because we used the two stitches and we only did one single crochet in the two stitches. In the next stitch, we'll do a single crochet and then we'll do another decrease. And we're gonna continue this pattern until we make it to the end of the round. I'll show you how to do another decrease. So insert your hook through the front loop of the first stitch and the back loop of the second one. And then you're gonna pull up a loop and finish off that single crochet. Go ahead and finish that round continuing with the pattern of doing a single crochet and then a decrease. And the last stitch should be a decrease. Go ahead and remove your stitch marker, place it at the beginning of our next round. For round seven, the pattern's gonna be a single crochet and then an increase. So we're gonna start with just a single crochet, and then the next stitch we'll do an increase, which will have the two single crochets in that same stitch, and then single crochet, and then an increase, which has the two single crochets. Go ahead and continue this till you make it to the end of the round. I've made it to the end of round seven. We're gonna take out our stitch marker, place it at the beginning of our next round. For the next five stitches, we're just gonna do single crochets in each one. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Next, we're gonna do a, another bobble stitch. So yarn over, Insert your hook through your stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And again, do that till you have five loops on your hook. I have five loops on my hook, so I'm gonna go ahead and yarn over and pull through 
all five. In the next four stitches, you're just gonna do single crochets. So one, two, three, and four. And then we'll do another bobble stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And again, do that so you have the five loops on your hook. And then yarn over and pull through all five loops. Go ahead and do single crochets in the last four stitches to the end of the round. And then again, I'm just gonna pull out those bobble stitches so they're facing out. I went ahead and moved my stitch marker to the next round too. For this round, we're just gonna be doing single crochets all the way around in each stitch. So just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And I'll meet you back up whenever we finish this round. I've made it to the end of the round. I'm gonna go ahead and move my stitch marker again. And then for this round, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna do single crochets in each stitch all the way around just like we did in the last round. So same thing, single crochets all around. I'll meet you back up when we're done with this round. I'm gonna go ahead and move my stitch marker to the beginning of the next round again. And in this round, we're gonna be making the, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to do six single crochets in the next six stitches. Five and six. And then we'll do another bobble stitch. So yarn over, and so your hook through the loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and then do it again till you have the five loops on your hook and then yarn over and pull through all five loops. In the next four stitches, you're going to do single crochets in each one. So one, two, three, four, and then we'll do another bobble stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And do that again till you have the five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all five loops. You should have three stitches left and you'll just do single crochets in each one. And again, with those bobble stitches, I'm just gonna push them outward. Just like that. Go ahead and move your stitch marker. And for this round, we're gonna be doing some decreases. So we're gonna do a single crochet and then we'll do a decrease. And again, to do a decrease, we're gonna insert our hook through the front loop of the first stitch in the back loop of the second stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through both loops to complete your single crochet. Do a single crochet in the next stitch and then a decrease. And we're gonna continue this pattern where you do a single crochet and then decrease all the way around. And I'll show you how to finish off your gummy bear. Okay, I've made it to the end of the round. I'm gonna go ahead and remove my stitch marker. And then in that next stitch, I'm just gonna do a slip knot. So I'm gonna insert my hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. And then I'm gonna put this loop in through this one, just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and chop off our yarn. I'm leaving a little bit of a longer tail just so we can sew in our gummy bear. Go ahead and remove your hook and pull that loop through and then we can go ahead and stuff it. I ended up just tearing apart an old pillow for my stuffing because it was ripping anyway. So that's why the stuffing's brown. Once you've stuffed it real good, we can then go ahead and close it. So I'm just gonna take a little crochet needle or yarn needle, I don't know what this is called. We're just gonna put our yarn through the needle if I can get it here. To close it off, we're gonna take our needle and we're just gonna go through that front loop of the first stitch, pull it through. Then we're gonna go the opposite way through the front loop of the next stitch. And then we're gonna go inward in that next stitch, through the front loop only again. And you're just gonna go backward and forward. And then once you've done quite a few stitches, you can go ahead and pull on it and it'll tighten up that hole. Like that and then I just like to go ahead and stick my needle through a few of those extra stitches then what I like to do is just go back through and then I'm just going to kind of sew in my end by just looping it through a few loops tightening it then I'm just gonna take it push it through somewhere like this and then I'm just gonna go ahead and chop off the tail and there you have it. There's your little gummy bear. There's how you crochet a simple, easy little crochet little gummy bear. You can even put like a little keychain at the top and make these like little keychains. I think those are real cute, but I'm just gonna leave them as they are. They're really fun and just like a quick little project you can do, especially for beginners. It's a pretty easy pattern to follow. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Now see you later. Bye.